From the outside, some may think that the kids at Acosta Elementary School have a really big gym. You wouldn't be wrong, but if we take a closer look. This is Stair Tower 1. It is a gym with a purpose. This would be the safest place if you're here in Westport or in the, the area along the coast. Safe from tsunamis. This is the first vertical evacuation safe haven in North America. This is to protect our community and our kids. A safe haven from incoming tsunami waves, built strong. Each one of these stair towers has 50,000 pounds of rebar in it and with 14 inch concrete walls. With 109 pilings under the structure. If they're shoring, it will stay standing. It'll Basically, it's a building on stilts. This vertical evacuation structure was completed in 2016 to coincide with the rebuilt Ocosta Elementary School at a cost of $2 million. We needed an upgrade for our elementary building, and so this is two birds with one stone, and the community supported it. It is the highest ground for miles, and if a tsunami were to hit for 2,000 people, the structure can hold, it would be money well spent. These vertical evacuation structures are really the important place to have people be able to get to high ground in the event that we have a tsunami. There are four towers that people can enter in from. Each of the towers has supplies. We have tarps, ropes, granola bars, toilet paper, um, emergency supplies. We have an AED also. Along with water, flashlights, and blankets, enough to hold people for up to four days until the water subsides or until people are rescued. There's also redundancy systems in place just in case the power goes out. So you would break the glass, pull the lever, and that would electronically open up the doors. But even before disaster strikes, emergency managers say be prepared and be prepared now.